I'm gonna show you how to change door frames and I'm on a new job and the couple who just bought the house they're gonna change this I'm gonna change it for them that's that's my job they've got old glassy door frames and architraves they thought of stripping them out they realized it's a bit fiddly job so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get them completely changed so come upstairs I've already started doing the job yesterday and first of all, what you need to do is cut the old frame. And this is how it looks after removing it. I literally take the handsaw, cut it in, crowbar in, boo, boo, and it's coming off. And it rips all the, all the sides and all the plaster around. Um, but that's, that's the nature of it, you go, go for it. So later, you, have, you get the new pack of door lining it's got it's the set's got three pieces and also three little door stops the finner to stop the the doors later and this is how it looks you set your uh, first side to the level to the spirit level and i've started from this side and there we go look the bubble is in the middle and to achieve that you have to play around constantly with spirit level and with all of these spacers look th these are different spacers i think this is six mil the red one and whatever they're they are in millimeters you just have to keep pushing them in that gap in that gap and you can see a little bit there there's like three or two two blue and one black so about 12 mil on the bottom we've got uh three reds whatever you need to use to get that level the bubble in the middle <laughs> do it that's take your time and do it once you have that in you also have to play around that this is flash as flash as possible you see that and the plaster that wall is wonky so it's better to have it a little bit couple of mils off so um, your your architrave later sticks out instead of being bent and pushed by the wall you know away so that's how you that's how you set it up first and then obviously you have to have the nice angle as well for the door because the job is not just fitting the door frames there will be also the door later right so that's what you need to do you need to you know get that angle as well nicely nicely done um, which is 90 degrees and if you're curious um, about all of those old things holding the frame holding it across I'll do it this way um, you see and even on the, on the floor there's this wood that's exactly seven seven hundred sixty five, just like just like the top seven sixty five. So getting the same distance, you know. We don't want banana shape, um, balloon shape in the middle or inside. It's gotta be straight because whoever fits the door, you know, it has to be a good job. We don't want to play too much with shaving of the door. So this is the support. And the wedges, look, here's the wedges. Wedges here, I'll show you on the other side, look, another wedge there, another wedge there. All these wedges are simply to support the frame. It's still loose, not screwed, nothing there. And I got the expanding foam today, I ran out of expanding foam yesterday. And you're gonna spray in a few goes let's say five six on left and right side and on the top as well like here you know here so it will look like and it will hold the frame really solid so you see here expanding foam little blobs one two three and the wedge and then you cut the wedge you know with multi-tool or, um, or hand sew 
and that's what will make the frame really solid and at the end at the very end when it's all you know sprayed and dry and really this expanding foam cured you do a few screws and um, I've done a special like a uh, hole I'm gonna put the plug wooden plug on it and fill this in with the glue so when they stain it they won't see it I'm not gonna use any wood filler but the plug and I'm gonna glue it here I've done only three which is enough which in my opinion is enough So that's pretty much how you do it and when the expanding foam cures you cut it with your knife look like here take a knife so it's flush so when it, when it comes time to fitting the um, architrave then you have nothing um, nothing nothing sticking out um, so this is ready to fit architrave let me show you. So look, that's how it's going to look. See, there's a gap. There's expanding foam, and it's all flush. You see, it's all flush, and that's what they're going to stain. And this is how it looks from this gap. You see, nothing. Very little gap there. There, only there. So that's how you do door linings, door frames and uh, it's a fiddly job but you know it's possible to do it and it's not that difficult one more important thing about having that door lining flash with the wall is that different walls have different thicknesses so as well here at the back you see it's not going to be flush so i have to extend this frame by maybe one centimeter oh that's a good so that's how it is sometimes and sometimes you have to shrink the frame because like here that wall is very narrow i don't know what it is like let's say eight centimeters see how how narrow it is comparing to let's say this one here you know so you have different width of door linings and what I do is I get the biggest I have my my table saw and I just slice it slice whatever the thickness I need and I just started doing this one because that's what I need I need that that thickness here look see Sorry, let's do it this way. That's the thickness. That's how I've just cut this on my table saw. You can get very close uh, to your needed measurements. You, you, need, you can get very close uh, sizes um, in shops. But on this occasion, I just got the biggest one and I can cut it to my perfectly width, you know, of the wood. So that's uh, another important thing, that um, to have that flash edge on both sizes of the wall, you need to have, you need to adjust your door linings, the width of it. And uh, yeah, table saw is quite handy, but you can get right ones in the, in the shops. One of the extra jobs that you might come across doing the door linings, changing the door linings, is plastering plastering around door frames and this was not in my quote but uh, I decided I'm gonna do it anyway because um, yeah the lady is nice <laughs> first of all she offered me wages on Friday wages <laughs> which doesn't happen too often she's one of a few but um, I thought you know what I'm gonna do it actually for her also because my job is going to look nice and finished um, so look this is one of the things um, see it's all plastered here and that's how it looks it's there's a gap so it will be drying but it, it does make a difference you know so it's something that you you should consider when you do door linings there's sometimes there will be some filling 
like you see like this here big gap I had a bigger one so this will cover it but this one wouldn't cover it and it would be so annoying for the plaster to go around that <laughs> gap and make a nice corner he wouldn't would not be able to do it so yeah some some nice say um, it's almost quite almost every frame had some filling around like there and there I just fitted this one and this one here as well um, yeah and as well here and obviously masking tape here because this will be stained and we don't want to mess up with pink dye or chocolate dye the architrave and frames so that's how it's gonna look but that that plaster here nice and smooth you know it's worth doing before um, yeah something to to you know to be aware of that's it folks it's all done and <laughs> and that's how it looks uh, when it's all done completely so just few pictures and little video of you know just me walking through the house again and that's how it looks with all the architraves i didn't i didn't film myself fitting architraves that's uh, kind of like an easy part of finishing door linings the, the frames but it looks pretty there is no gaps there is just ready for my client um holly to dig in <laughs> with cloth and dye and just rub that dye whatever she chooses but i'm quite pleased with the job she's pleased with it and i said um you know i hope you find this video quite helpful um that's it thanks for watching <laughs> cheers guys